Keeping saltwater fish is a pretty expensive hobby at the best of times, and you can easily spend £500 on a gold flake angel fish like this, or even £800 on a pair of designer clownfish like these black storms. But those fish are pound store bargains compared to the fish I have for you in this video. So today I'll show you the 8 most expensive saltwater fish you want but can't afford, and 8 cheap alternatives that you can. Now all of the prices are in the Queen's currency, but you can probably swap pounds for dollars US, so a £1,000 fish will probably cost around $1,000 across the pond. And this isn't intended as a complete care guide, so make sure you do your research before you spend 6 months mortgage payments on one of these bad boys. First up then is the Tiger Pygy Angelfish at £1,200. They're rare in the hobby because they're a naturally occurring hybrid of the already stunning Lemon Peel Angel and Abley Angel. And it's the beauty as much as the rarity that makes these fish so expensive, so you won't find many in the shops. In fact, this is one of only two I've seen in the flesh in my time in the hobby. But the best thing about the Tiger Pygy being a hybrid is that there are two obvious alternatives that are common as muck. The Abley Angel is the closest looking fish and will set you back around £50, and the Lemon Peel Angel will probably cost around £100. By reputation the Abley is the marginally safer bet with corals, but I personally wouldn't chance either with any coral you're not prepared to risk losing. Next we have the aptly named wrought iron butterfly fish at £1,800. Now in the wild this is not a rare fish, and if you dive in the right place you will see shoals upon shoals of them. So why are they so expensive? Well it's their distribution that makes them rare in the hobby. They're only found in Japan, which is why you won't see them in many shops, and it's why they're so expensive. Japanese fish collectors don't work cheap. A fish you will see in the shops though is the raccoon butterfly fish, which you can pick up for less than £80. The Pakistani butterfly is probably closer looking to the wrought iron, but the raccoon shares the black and yellow colours of the wrought iron and is the prettier fish to my eye. They're another risky bet with corals, but they have been reported to eat Aptasia, which is something we can all get on board with. Coming in at £2,000, the 6th most expensive saltwater fish in the hobby is the Candy Basslet. In the States you can pick up one of these for around a thousand bucks, but here in Blighty we pay double. It's a reclusive fish that likes to hide in your rock work, so this may be one of the worst value fish in the world. And it's their shyness, along with the fact that they live in deeper waters, that makes them both rare and expensive. It's peaceful, reef safe and the bright purple pink horizontal stripes set against a highlighter yellow body make this small fish an absolute heartbreaker like nothing else in the hobby. Nothing else that is, except for the Swiss Guard Basslet and the Swales Swiss Guard Basslet. The Swiss Guard will set you back north of £200, but these Swales should be attainable for under a ton. And sure they're not as colourful or bright as the Candy Basslet, but they retain the same patterns and body shape, and I can totally get on board with having one of these in my tank and £1900 in my bank. Number 5 is the criminally expensive Bandit Angelfish, also at £2,000. Now the Bandit Angel is endemic to Hawaii, a country that has recently banned the export of marine fish to the aquarium trade. So if you manage to get hold of one of these deep water beauties before the ban, you can now pretty much name your price. Who knew pets could be appreciating assets? Now there are plenty of alternative fish with the striped eye mask that make the Bandit Angel so desirable, and while none have quite such unique colourings, the Xantharus Cream Angel is a great alternative with similar colours to the bandit. And away from the angelfish family, the Burgessy butterfly fish is about as close as you'll get in terms of black and white stripes with a black eye mask, and you should be able to pick up one of those for between 50 and 100 pounds. And as a Brucey bonus, the Burgessy is even reportedly reef safe, but of course fish don't watch YouTube videos, and most butterfly fish are reef safe with caution at best, so don't blame me if this guy demolishes all of your LPS. But Alex, I wipe my bottom with £2,000 I hear you cry. Where are the expensive fish? Well I see your bottom wiping two grand, and I raise you the £6,000 Kingy Angelfish, also known as the Tiger Angel, and widely regarded as the Holy Grail of Angelfish. And you can actually pay up to £12,000 for these beauties. So why are they so expensive? Is it because they're a critically endangered species on the verge of extinction? No. The International Convention for Conservation of Nature lists them as least concern, meaning they are nowhere near endangered. 
but the tiger angel is endemic to South Africa and has the good sense to reside in a protected marine area, which means they're seldom collected and therefore very expensive when they are. But if you'd rather spend 12 grand on a small family car than a fish, the great news is that the multi-bar angelfish is an excellent substitute and can be yours for under £100 in the UK or around $200 in the States. Although I should say the multi-bar is a fussy bastard, so not a fish for the faint-hearted. First on the podium is the Dr. Seuss Soapfish, also at around £6,000. And this is the first fish on this list I consider to be cheap. They live around the Marshall Islands, which is in the middle of bloody nowhere, and they swim in cooler deep waters. As with all deep water fish, collecting them and bringing them to the surface without killing them by decompression sickness requires a skilled and experienced diver, and such people don't work cheap. But while the good doctor requires special care and attention, the alternative I have for you doesn't. The long-nosed hawkfish is the closest in shape to the seuss and matches the long face. They're a fantastic character fish, are peaceful and reef safe, with the possible exception of small ornamental inverts, and they are a piece of cake to look after. And as if that's not enough, I got mine for £40, which is £5,960 cheaper than the seuss. And the second most expensive fish in the world is the masked angel at an eye-watering £16,000. Now I almost left this guy off the list because, quite frankly, I think he's bloody ugly. They are of course a deep water fish and they're sexually dimorphic, which means the ladyfish look different to the gentleman fish. They're also endemic to Hawaii, so don't put your house on the market just yet, as you of course can't buy wild-caught Hawaiian fish anymore. Now the two most similar and I think prettier fish are again the Xantharus Cream Angel, which you can pick up for around £60, and the Multicolour Angel, available for around £100. Now they're both angelfish of course, so there's a fair chance they'll nibble on your corals, so if you want a reef safe, totally white fish with a mask, the Wyoming White Clownfish is your best bet, and a pair of those will set you back a measly £120. And the world's most expensive saltwater fish is the peppermint angel at a divorce inducing £30,000. These stripy little wallet shrinkers are found in the middle of the southern Pacific Ocean, approximately 4 billion miles from civilization. And given his price tag, I presume he's flown out by the exporter in his own seat in first class with a selection of movies from Finding Nemo to Free Willy. Unsurprisingly, they are a deep water fish, and they're also reported to be nervous Nellies, so they swim for cover whenever they see a man in a wetsuit holding a net. Because the peppermint is a dwarf angel fish, the natural alternative is the absolutely stunning flame angel. Flame angels are, to my eye, one of the most beautiful fish in the marine hobby, regardless of price. And even though they've gone up recently to almost £200, there are few more handsome fish available. So if you're prepared to take the coin toss risk they'll eat your corals, you will be rewarded with a great alternative to the peppermint for less than 0.1% of the cost. Now it's worth pointing out that a lot of these fish were filmed at some of my favourite reef shops, namely Reef Dreams in Winchester, Reef Keeper Moss End in Berkshire, and the Ocean Project in Dorset. And I mention them because shops that have expensive enough taste to order in fish as expensive as most cars often do so as the halo effect. That is to say that they will often also have absolutely banging corals, and that much is certainly true of the shops I've listed. So if you ever hear that a local fish shop has got one of the fish in this list in stock, you can bet your bollocks to a barn dance they'll also have great corals. Now if you've seen any of these fish in the flesh, let me know how they look in the comments section below, and if you know of any other house deposit priced fish, share them in the comments too. And of course if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for next week, and until next time, happy reefing.